All right, so this is an experiment. Try not to get frustrated. If it doesn't go well, I think it'll go fine though. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's be positive. <laughs> so this, this is a completely different way of uh, thinking about this. Well, not completely, but anyway. Uh, so working on your voice, we're gonna do a couple of things here. First of all, uh, let's start by just thinking about the scale. So this song is an E major. So what I want you to do when you first sit down, think about your E major scale and play it back down. So E, F sharp, G sharp, thumb under to A, E, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then same on the way back down. Third finger on G sharp. Okay. So the melody of this particular song just happens to be between these notes. So it's it starts in the middle, at some point it goes to the top, at some point it goes to the bottom, okay? But it uses all the notes in the major scale because this song is in the key of E major. That's why we use the notes from E major scale. Uh, so the first thing I want you to do is just a little warm-up exercise. Um, and this is a this is a kind of a big range again for a pop song. So, you know, take your time. Don't try not to get frustrated if it's too high or too low or whatever. Um, but what I want you to do probably start down here. And all I want you to do when you're at home is just sing. Try to sing the note as best you can. Just try to match it. So you play it and you go ba ba, and when you think you've got it, go to the next one. Ba 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 ah ah Right. Uh, Try to relax your throat as much as possible. That's the main thing. Don't be straining, especially when you get up to high notes. Don't be like, ah! You know, singing is just like talking. When you talk to me, you're not straining your voice and going, oh my God, the job of the... It's just coming out, right? And the, the psychology of it, the trick is, as you go up high, it's just like when you're trying to play fast on the piano. When you go up high with your voice, what your brain tells you to do is clench because it's really it feels like it's a lot of effort oh god i better really do it and what that does is tightens your chest does everything wrong basically uh just imagine like when you walk down the street you're nice and relaxed and imagine if you wanted to run and instead of just starting to run you just clenched all your muscles together and you can't run that way because but that's what you're doing when when you play the piano and you want to do something fast I'm doing this. I'm not because you can't do it. Right. So it's all training. So the high notes are just as relaxed as the known low notes in your throat. That's the main thing. It's your throat. Your stomach is where it all comes from. That's your diaphragm. Those are that's where your it's feels like your stomach, but it's your lungs, right? Your lungs push out and it pushes your stomach out because your lungs are pushing all your your parts away from, you know, all, all the uh, processing plants. Um, so yeah, so you breathe into your stomach and relax, it comes out. Breathe into your stomach and uh, And don't like hold your breath and do any of these weird things. Just, if you're doing anything that you don't do with your normal speaking voice, it's, there's something weird going on. That's why, that's why I say that, at least in my experience, singing has been almost 98% psychology because you're already singing your art when you speak your voice is working in a note only we do short notes but like short short notes short notes short notes that's that's what I just said short notes short notes short notes you know whatever it is but it's just hold